Hey everybody, welcome to my TV stand build. As you can tell in this first video, this uh, the dust collector is not set up, so there's dust everywhere. I believe I just said it in the uh, end table build video that that's one of my next projects that needs done, and it needs done really bad because dust is everywhere, and it keeps getting everywhere because I keep building stuff, and I am not putting the dust collector together. It's set up where it is, it's just the tubes haven't been ran and stuff yet, so we need to make some time to do that. So 45s like this, I tend to, I prefer to use the table saw for it, but these pieces were too long to run through the table saw, and I don't have a sled or nothing, so I just kind of used my track saw for it. I missed part of this apparently I didn't make the video over here we go so before I cut the 45 I cut it straight and I left about an inch overhang an inch long or so just so when I do cut my 45 I don't have a long piece of plywood to fall off and rip my nice cut to shreds but this Makita track saw with a Diablo blade does work pretty good I didn't use any clamps and I ended up with a pretty square, pretty nice cut. Uh, a woodworker I watched on YouTube actually said to, when you're doing big miters like this, to cut 46 degree angles. So I tried to do that the best I could. And I think it turned out pretty good. I also believe that, uh, what was it? Yeah, the fence. I cut the 45s with the fence. Um, I'm want to say that the fence is maybe out of square or something because my cuts were weird and they just didn't work out right. I ended up using them anyway because this TV stands for my personal house and I knew in the end it was going to turn out all right because I was putting some support, a few supports in the middle so those would stiffen up really well. Um, I bought these cheap, these super cheap miter clamps from Menards. I want to say they were six or seven bucks. Um, they worked fine. They weren't like the greatest thing ever, but they worked. Um, I just, like I, you guys know, I'm the inpatient woodworker, so I use a brand new, brand new to tack these together, so I do this just using the corner clamps to hold it in place up until I could get a couple nails in there. I built the whole box at once. I have seen other people use dominoes or uh, what, the, what are those called? Uh, for some reason, I can't think of the term for the. Uh, it's not a domino and it's not a biscuit. It's the other one. I've seen other people use those for connected miters. I don't know why I can't think of it. It's I've used them before. I have a kit for doing it. Excuse me. Kind of tired. It's only eight o'clock. All right. Well, I'll talk to you guys in the next section of the time lapse. So we got the frame here all put together. Uh, I think the miters turned out somewhat decent. Some of them might have a tiny little gap in them. I think the worst one was that side over there, but the rest of them all turned out pretty good. I'm kind of the impatient woodworker, so I got some brad nails in here. I not really feel like waiting. I can just wood fill them and sand them. But not a big deal. Uh, so I'll probably let this dry. I'm going to start cutting some. I think I'm going to do... I don't even know. It, this is a little bit wider than I was expecting it to be. It's a pretty big TV stand. Anyway, or longer I guess. I'll probably do three sections. Um, there'll be doors here, doors here in the middle will be open, so you can put consoles or DVD player or whatever behind the cabinet doors on either side, and then the middle can be for decoration. Anyway, I'm going to get started cutting some of those, so I'll set you guys up for that. Alright, so I figured it out, I don't know why for the life of me I couldn't figure it out. They were dowels. <laughs> I'm sure you guys were 
laughing at me after that one. Couldn't come up with the freaking dowels. I've used them before and they're super common in woodworking. And for some reason they just, I just couldn't think of it. Um, so you see me here, I'm, I was ripping the sheet down on the table saw. I like to use the table saw for ripping the sheet down. It's, it's pretty easy, um, and it gets me a perfectly straight cut. I would use a track saw, possibly, but I don't have a big enough table. I could set up saw versus and stuff, but then I don't have, it's not super straight, and it's just hard to work off saw horses. I said it. In the other video, I need to build a table. That's one of my next projects, is building a rolling table for the shop. So I have something to work on that's stiff. I was struggling really bad with this this uh, TV stand here. It was just not going great. The table was super wobbly, and it's a super big TV stand. So sanding it and staining it was the biggest well staining it i don't think it was too bad but sanding it was definitely one of the harder parts of it it just moves around so much and it's hard to put any pressure on the sander if i need any and the whole thing just wobbles really bad that and the dust collector are two of the big things i need to get to and hopefully i'll get some videos of both of those so you guys can see them i'm not sure what kind of thing we're going to do with the table yet but I'd like to figure that out so I can get that done I also don't have a whole lot of time going on right now um, I'm moving early May that's why I'm getting some of these projects done so we have a couple pieces of furniture for the new house and then uh, I have other projects going on we gotta pack and get all sorts of stuff done so it's hard for me to get some of these smaller projects done, like the table or the dust collector, but doing what I can and trying to use the best of my time. Um, what else? So you saw me use a piece, I had a piece of just scrap wood I cut to get the shelves centered perfectly in there, and then I use pocket holes to support these shelves it all turned out pretty good worked pretty well um, it's a pretty solid stand so don't have any issues there i did put edge baiting on this um, i skipped over the time lapse i think i was getting about done with taking video but i did it so i just wrapped up on all those shelves those turned out pretty good. I'm not sure how it looks on camera, but I think it looked pretty good in person. So, last things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some doors here and then here. Uh, this one will be open. I think I'm gonna do some edge banding on these edges as well. Um, I think that'll be it. I'll do a panel on the back too, probably. Just a quarter inch panel. To Cover up the back side here. Uh, other than that, I think that's it. I might stop recording now just so I can keep getting some work done. But I'll keep trying to show you guys some stuff. Okay, everybody, I think I got, uh, got it wrapped up. Just about. That's how she's looking. Picked up some face black hinges for these doors. These work pretty good. They got magnets in them too. It was kind of a pain for me to get these doors lined up. This is the first, these are the first cabinet doors I've ever done. So it's, I'd say they turned out pretty good for being my first. These ones are the same magnets. Got the shelf in there. I think the last part you guys saw was me getting the frame done pretty much. Um, so since then, I did this edge band also, just a, I think it was one inch, and then it was one by, so three quarter thick. I did the edge band all the way around, on the bottom too, the sides, I think. That kind of helps it make it pop a little bit better. 
And then I put quarter inch panel on the back just for so the back's not open. Right now, I think that's about it. It needs sanded and it needs stained. I did some wood filler uh, that's drying right now. So I'll probably come back tomorrow and sand this and get this stained as well as my end tables that I built the other day. Those might need a little bit of sanding too before I stain them, but those are there. Those are from the last video. I guess I haven't posted either of these yet. But they're going up as separate videos, so it's not a super long video. Uh, I did an edge band on this shelf here too. I think it helps it stand out a little bit as well. So, we'll see. We'll see how she turns out. It's a pretty solid unit. Probably weighs. This is not too bad. It's almost two full sheets of three quarter inch sheeting. So it's, I don't know, it's probably 50 pounds. It's not horribly heavy, but definitely kind of awkward for one person. So we'll see if somebody will be here tomorrow to help me move it. All right, uh, well, I'll get some video tomorrow too of the staining. So see you guys tomorrow or in half a second to you guys. All right, so this is a wrap on this end table and TV stand project I've been working on. All I have left is do is a poly on it, but this is a pretty good view of what it looks like. It might just be a little bit more glossy once you guys, once it's all done. But that's a wrap on that. It all turned out pretty good. Got some magnets on these doors. That'll work pretty good. No issues, all stained. Stain took a while and used a lot of paper towels, but it's all done. It looks pretty good. The stain's a little bit darker than I probably would have preferred, but it is what it is. I didn't stain the inside of these drawers because I'm lazy, but those are done. They work good. So that's that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.